so welcome to this video in this video we'll be completing the exercise 7 of week 8 so which includes k-means clustering and a principal component analysis so before getting into the video if you are new to the channel please do subscribe i'll be creating more of machine learning content so let's get into the video so uh, what you need to do is you need to open up all the files which i have opened so you can pause the video and then you can open all the files as they're given here indicates the file you need to complete so i hope that you have opened all the files so now let us do the first uh, k-means initializing the send words so as you know that k-means is uh, widely used for uh, clustering problems and segmentation problems so as the number of classes are present the number of send words will be there so the procedure is you just initialize the send word and then you find the minimum distance between the points and after finding the minimum distances you assign the centroids to them and basically you repeat the whole procedure in a for loop till you get an optimized model so for that we need to first initialize the centroid so initializing a centroid is the easiest part so it is basically we're randomly picking up some of the indices for example if there are 10 points and you need to classify them into two classes so we need to pick two points for that we'll pick the two indices okay so how we'll do that is random index i've just uh, declared a variable this is a capital x okay so now we have a uh, picked uh, randomly some of the indices and then we need to assign the centroids capital x of okay just save it okay make sure you save it and then so now you have initialized the uh, you have initialized the centroid so now you need to compute the minimum distance and then assign the closest centroid so for that you need to create a for loop you need to map it uh, based on the number of uh, data sets okay so then you'll compute the distance now using for loop to assign to the minimum distance so this is a small k and followed by equals to then one and colon and capital k small k So then you are subtracting the centroids. So that to check which has the least uh, distance, which is closest to the centroid. And we need to square it because uh, distances cannot be negative. Okay, and then you have to exactly position uh, 
the proper alignment here as you can see whatever you write here it belongs to this for loop so don't start it from here start it exactly from here so now we have obtained uh, the distances and just uh, write the minimum value and then we need to set the index then we need to end it okay so the for loop we have ended just save it okay make sure you save it and then we need to compute the centroids okay the computing centroids is the easiest one because you just need to find the average loop through all the centroids So it's just a simple call basically you're just finding uh, the average of all the centroids and then assigning it to the all the points and then assigning it to the new centroid okay so just don't forget to end uh, the for loop and save it yeah that's it so the three you have completed the, the k-means clustering as you can see, we have completed the k-means clustering. So now we just need to complete the principal component analysis. So the PCA is used for, uh, as, as you know that PCA is used for a uh, reduction of the, the dimensions. So for that, uh, first we need to compute uh, the, the standard uh, uh, SVD. From there, we'll obtain the matrices. From those matrices, we'll be red uh, reducing the uh, dimension. So for that you need to obtain first we need to complete PCA. So the PCA is a you have the direct formula. First you need to obtain the sigma. Sigma will be basically one divided by m multiplied by x transpose into x. okay so then so you'll be using an inbuilt function called svd make sure you write s in capital Here also you just need to change yeah, it's just a notation okay you can do you can write whatever but still uh, use a proper uh, variable notation so now you're done with the svd i mean the pca so now we have obtained u s and v so u is a vector which is a uh, projection vector the optimal uh, vector onto which you'll be projecting the data so now you just need to go to the project data as you can see here you have already the u
Okay, so you'll be projecting all the data points onto the U vector. So for example, if you have a two dimension uh, uh, vector, so what PCA does is converts two dimension into the one dimension. To convert that, you need a, a vector U onto which you can project uh, the two dimension vector. So when you project the two dimension vector, the two dimension vector will be converted into the one dimension vector. Okay, now you just need to end the follow okay so after you have projected it so basically you, the process of projecting is you're compressing the data so now you want to recover the data so go to the recover data function so basically to recover the data what you have done is you have, uh, to compress the data you compress from two dimension to the one dimension to recover the data again you similarly need to project one dimension to the two dimension then you'll obtain the original data same procedure you just be projecting back the one dimension array into the original two dimension array And then length So the new data points will have the original data points. Okay, after writing this, you just need to end the outside for loop. Okay. So after this, you save the file. Okay, make sure you save all the files. So after saving all the files only, you come back to the exercise 7.mlx and go to the command window and you can submit. So this is the video. If you have liked the video, please uh, do like the video and subscribe the video. So thank you for watching. You can also and uh, you can also run the whole program. So to check the the output, so you can go to the live editor. So place your cursor on the first, uh, what is it, the first command, and then go to the live editor. And just click on run to end. Okay, when you click on run to end, so basically it takes uh, like uh, two minutes or three minutes to run the entire program because uh, 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 it's the co it takes uh, too long. So you can wait and then you can submit or else you can submit before also. So thank you for watching.